Once you've found your idea, your product or service, and you know how to deliver it to your customers, you've then got to actually get out there and start it. See, I remember figuring out that I wanted to be a coach. I remember starting my water filter business, my solar panel business. And the first thing you've got to do is you've got to understand either how to deliver it yourself or how to find people who can deliver it. Once you've figured out what your product or service is, you move, you graduate into a starter. And starters are my favorite group of entrepreneurs because other ones ready to go. They say, this is my product, let me get out there and make this happen. Starters, it's all about hustle, it's all about getting your first sales in, and it's about proving market to message match. It's really to make sure that what you have, the market wants. So what you're doing at this level is you're trying to find your audience. You're choosing your target market, and the thing is, is you've got to find out how do you get your product into the hands of the people who want it, or do people even want it? You see, one of my businesses that failed badly, I never got this right. I invested all this money before I knew whether or not people wanted my product. So what you've got to understand is you've made a decision. This is what product you're going to do. You graduated from Seeker, and now you're a starter. Your job is to learn sales skills. Your job is to get your product in front of the right people and your job is to move from I haven't made any sales to have made your first 10,000 a month, to get to your first 100 grand. You don't need to do any fancy marketing or anything else. You need to meet the people who have the problem that your product sells. You have to find them and then you have to offer to solve their problem with your product. This is your job because you see, the next stage is promoter. That's when you can ask for money from a bank. That's when you can get investors. That's when you can move. But until you've been able to get yourself out there and make your first sales, no one's going to listen to you. So at this stage, you want to be focusing on sales. You want to be focusing on who is your target market. You want to be focused on hustle and motivation and really getting out there and making it happen. Now, what's interesting about this is most people try to avoid it. Most people want to go from I've got my product to I'm going to get investment or I've got my product or my service to I just want to get leads. I just want to go out there and get more exposure. The problem with that is if you haven't figured out how to sell it, if you haven't figured out how to start it, then you're going to miss when you move into the next level. So you've got to figure this out. I hope you enjoyed this. Live with total freedom. Start your product right. Start your service right. And if you're looking to really get your product or service out there, here's what I recommend. I recommend that you craft a presentation. One presentation that you can deliver over a webinar, that you can deliver in a live event, that you can deliver one-on-one. -on -one. At this level, getting a presentation that you can take to an investor is the most important thing. A presentation that takes someone from they don't know what it is that you do into becoming a buyer is the answer at this level. You must learn how to write a good offer, you must learn how to tell your story, and you must learn how to craft a high converting presentation. If you'd like more information on how to craft a high converting presentation, click on the link. I've got a free training on exactly what to do to get your product out there to the people who need it. Hope you enjoyed this. Live with total freedom. Free your mind, free your time, free your life, and do what matters most. Do it right now. See you in the next session where I talk about being a promoter.